Okay, for any of you guys that uh, knew what this was, probably one of the first things you saw is this fan wasn't turning, and it's really stiff. So what the heck kind of cooling system is this? Okay, the biggest giveaway is right here. That's a heat sink, and it actually got warm uh, while I had this thing on. What the the what's going on here is it's called thermoelectric cooling it uses a semiconductor that if I put electricity DC uh, only works DC and that's the reason for these diodes here is to uh, take the uh, transformer which is right just barely see the top of the transformer there it's a 12 volt transformer uh, then it's turned to DC and if you take one side of this you know the semiconductor and put positive to one side negative to the other then on one side of the semiconductor will get hot and the other side will get cool so there's Probably heat sink kind of similar to this, except probably way smaller, inside that container behind there. And you can see these bolts that are covered up with uh, glop. Uh, that's probably holding it in and probably holding the semiconductor to the uh, heat sink. So if I had reversed the connections, this would get cold and the inside would get hot. So, uh, that's how this is set up. It's just got a standard heating element here in the, uh, well, let's get over there. Here in the electric, it's just got a standard heating element. It only uses this part here for cooling. And, of course, a dead giveaway was the fan. But then you go further and you grab this thing and it's actually warm. So, uh, that's what the problem is with this thing. And we're going to replace that fan, and we'll see if it works. Okay, we've got a new fan in there, so let's go ahead and fire this thing off. Okay, a little fan just took off. I've got 70 degree water inside there, and I'll give it a little while, and I'll check to see what the temperature is of the water, both heat and cool. Okay, obviously the hot is hot at 168, and let's see if the cool cools down. Okay, with this boil fired back up again, we are dropping 23.4 degrees Fahrenheit from the water coming in to the water coming out. So, I guess it's working.